What up, Lenny? What up, family? How you doing? How you doing today? Guess what today is? Today is April the 13th. What's that day, baby? April 13th. What's, what's that day mean? What's it? What's it? Right? Our and it's our anniversary. How many years? On which part of this marriage? Yeah. Well, 13 years married. 13 years married. We wanted to go to uh, the Hibachi Grill Plate over to a four, and we, we, was, we was hungry. So we're going, we're going to eat. I'm going to show you our food. We're going to eat. We're going to get back to the house, and we're going to talk a little bit about 13 years of marriage and what we've been through, some of the things, and how we are today. But here's my food. I got a 12 ounce sirloin. Double shrimp, mashed taters, and coleslaw. I'm machine. What'd you get, baby? Macaroni and cheese. Mac and cheese. Loaded mashed potatoes. Loaded mashed taters. And yeah. New York strip with garlic butter and mushrooms yeah. on the side. Oh, shucky ducky now. Garlic butter. And the southern cheese. And I got a crown and coat. Mm. And this bread is the bomb.com as well. Yep. But, yeah, we're gonna eat, man. We're gonna get back to the house. We're gonna talk about a little bit of our marriage, you know, going, some, some things we've been through, and happy time, sad time, and all that good stuff. But we're gonna eat first. So, see you in a second. We're back at home now. It's like that. We Here we here. It's, it's, it's never been. We're back at home. The food, uh, I ordered my steak uh, medium well. Miss Jen ordered hers. Medium to medium rare. And mine was pinker than hers. Mine was actually bleeding. Yeah, I wasn't very happy. So. The mushroom tasted weird. The steak tasted weird. I didn't really care for the macaroni and cheese. Cause we Even wanted, the baked potato was odd. See, we wanted to go to the Hibachi Grill, but they didn't open until 4. We didn't want to wait, so. We ended up at Logan's. Usually, it's, it was been pretty good there. But anyways, again... April 13th, been married 13 years. <laughs> old dogs. She's an old girl. Yeah, and right at that. She's born, she's 13. She's 13? We gotta play lottery today, man. Mm -hmm. 13, April 13th, 13 years. We play lottery. But, So what, 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 so what do you think about Happy 13? Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. 13 is my favorite number, so hopefully this year is going to be a great and phenomenal one. We've went through a lot. Yes, we have went through a lot. First off, yeah, I know some some other comments, Ms. Jess, when Ms. Jim was talking crazy. Oh, there was? It was El I seen like two of them. Why Ms. Jim, she's talking weird, talking different. You want to... I'm just having some dental. She's having some dental work done, done so, so if, you, if, if, if she's got a lift or a slump, it's all right. 13 years. 13 years. And here we are in Tennessee. Of course, if you are someone that has been rocking with us from uh, the beginning or even when we was in Indiana, you kind of know some of the situation. You know, one reason why we moved to Tennessee, other reason was because, you know, this place we, we came to visit, Gatlinburg, and always wanted to be here. I was like, I love the mountains. I love it. I love being here. It's beautiful. I love the mountains. No, I don't think I'd ever go back to Flatland. 13 years have passed. Been together for 18 years. And 25 year old daughter. Um. What are your expectations for the next 13, 20 years? I guess at this point in time, because of our story and what we've been through, we have a lot of past. <clears throat> we have a lot that's in our past. And for the next 13, 20 years, I don't want to have feel Some of, the ways, Some of the ways that we did in the past, but at the same time, is it just because, like, is it just because we can't get over the past? Like, I don't know me specific. I don't know if I, it's just, 
it's been really hard. I wrote, if I could take anything back, I wish it would have just been some of the stuff that we went through. Right. So we didn't have to go through like trust issues or doubt issues or good enough issues or, you know, do you love me issues? Like, so. But no, uh, I mean, if anyone out there, you know, if you've been married five plus years, 10 years, you know, you know, um, you're going to go through trials and tribulations. You know, one thing I've talked to older people myself and they say is how you handle those issues, how you handle those issues and you, how do you work through them. And like I said, we work through a lot, you know. And have a lot to work through though. We still do. That's, I mean, that's, to me, that's just life in general, life itself. Uh, no one's perfect. We are human. But together, we have worked through the problems, you know, talked about things and tried, you know, how to make it better, how to, how to make it work and continue on. Um, if you, when you love someone, especially if your how your if your past had issues in it before, you kind of, and like Miss Jenis told me, you know, let certain things go, you know, Leave it alone. Don't don't keep looking at the past, which is true. I mean, it's been said if you keep going back to the past, you can't go ahead to the future. You're gonna stay in the past, which is true because you know, once a person goes through, once a couple goes through too much, it winds up in the past and separated, not together. But we have been through a lot. We've come a long way. We have grown you know, so much in so many different areas. From when we started, you know, uh, living in Indiana with uh, having all five girls, you know, we've gone through a lot. Mm -hmm. And to be here today, I will say I am truly thankful uh, and I feel we have truly been blessed. One thing I do know too, with Indiana, when you're doing wrong, mostly, pretty much most of the times, good things just pretty much won't come your way. If they do, it's going to fall off, something's going to happen. When you start doing good within yourself and each other, the Lord shows you those blessings and shows you what you can accomplish together and what you can do together. Which in our story, you know, from coming from Indiana and where we are now, our life has continued to grow and prosper. But of course, there are still things that, you know, we have to work on with each other and within ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, end of the day though, you know. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm blessed. In this second half of our life, me personally, I want to do better than the first half. We have done better in certain areas when it comes to our relationship. It's still at times up and down. And I personally think, you know, that's a relationship. I've talked to like you know, I've talked to some older people and they've said, you know, it's been hard. They, they've gone through a lot of things, a lot of tough times. But again, it's how you work through those problems, how you come out. That's why I say, you know, trusting in God, believing in Him. And if you do, you're going to be on the right path. And you'll see how He brings you out of those hard times. Um, now, going forward in the future, I see, I see a lot of good things. The Lord is working still in our favor, uh, just what we have going on right now. You know, I left one job, started partnerships in other businesses, but now I'm gonna go back to work in a job that I've never done before, but I'm, I'm excited to start this new journey. I am very excited to start this new journey. You know, it's, it's, I've never had the hours I had this, this time. The hours are phenomenal. Benefits, pay, it's, it's all top notch which will help us financially continue on 
but as a couple we have to look within ourselves and each other and know that we are here for one another and none of the BS from our past is going on and you know when you love someone sometimes you see things that aren't really there because you want to it's just you want to know that person 100% all about you and I know Miss Jen is but it's just sometimes you know I'm not a, a a social media person per se I don't have Facebook I don't have Instagram I don't have Snapchat I don't have all that stuff. It's ways that people navigate through those social medias and be sneaky about things. And so for me not to have that stuff, you know, sometimes I ask Miss Jen, you know, what is that? You know, I've never seen it before. How do you do that? What, what's all this stuff? And you know, sometimes she may get frustrated because I don't know, but I'm, but again, I'm gonna ask questions. Sometimes she gets kind of frustrated with me, like I said, but I'm gonna ask questions. This is my life. In a day, when it's all over, it's all said and done. So while I'm here living, I wanna know certain things just as well as she may wanna know certain things. But what do you say? No? What do you I'm what do you doing? She, she made a face. Yeah, I see that face. But, anyways. In a relationship, if you love one another, you're going to work through it and stick it out. Depending on the situation or the severity of what you're going through. Sometimes people feel like it's just been too much. And we were at that point at one time where we had to separate. And when you separate, it puts a whole new perspective on things. You know, for me, back in the day, you know, I thought I wanted to party and hang out and have fun, females and stuff. And once we separated, I became a, I became a, I won't say that, I became a stalker. And it's not in kind of sense. I had my gang friends watching her whenever she's at certain places. You know, I would drive by her house, see what she was doing. Because, you know. But he wasn't worried about that, though, beforehand, before you left out. Or before he separated, he wanted the cake and he, he got the cake and the icing. Yeah, well, you know, again, you go through but life and you grow up. I separate and then you're all about... Well, because like you said, okay, one thing, you know, men, my men out there, you know, when you, when you feel that you got your woman, she ain't going nowhere, man. She, we, she, she gonna be there. You, you 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 start doing whatever until she says, "Oh, made it. Well, I'm, I'm out." Or she says, "I'm leaving. Now. We're done. I'm getting a, I'm getting my own place." Hold up, wait a minute. Unless she just played the game better than you did, and just you know. Definitely you just played the game better than I did. <laughs> Is that what she did play? <laughs> I'm just saying, like. Oh no, no. I didn't play the game. I'm just saying, like, unless the person like played the game better. Right, but at the end of the day. um I would say 90% of the time, or maybe even less than that, 85, 70, I don't know. Depends on your situation. You play the game too long, you're going to get caught. You may be able to hide some things, but at the end of the day, if you're trying to be faithful and God-fearing, oh, you're going to get caught. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. And you're going to start losing things and friends and family and whatever, however the case may be, whatever you, depends on what you do. You know, I won't say I lost a lot, but yet I did. But I also- What did you lose though, in all reality? Like through all those years of doing what, like what did you really lose? Mm -hmm. Okay, what did I really lose? My trust, but- But I that, mean, that's... your trust, but same time, if I had done right by her and just, you know, my family in general, you never, you never know what could have came out of it. The place you could have been in life where your blessings could have come and taken you. So I lost that. I lost some of those blessings that I was, should have received back then. I lost, I lost some of those. But yet today, you know, I've gained a lot, but still who knows where we could be if, 
that hadn't happened if I had received those three, received my blessings back then. So you know, you lose we a lot not just on. not just in material sense, but in your blessings. But at the end of the day, we are here going forward the next 20, 30 years. Again, second half of my life, our lives. You know, in my family per se. <laughs> My family per se, you know, the average, the average lifespan is about 75 years old. Ours is about 70, 75. So, I'm more than halfway there. Oh, yeah. We have about 25, 30 years. So, you know. That doesn't even sound, you no. should think about it, like, so Christian's having her baby, so... In 20, like when he's 20, we gonna be like probably getting into our 70s. And probably close to getting out of here. I don't wanna think about that. That's just like my dad, that. your dad, you know, I know dad, my the great dad. grandkids came and, you know, they, they didn't get to see them. Yeah. So, but we're here, we're blessed, we're thankful, we love one another. And we're gonna keep rocking this, rocking this to the woods fall off, or one of us falls off one or the other. Someone loses a gasket. I don't know. <laughs> Blows a gasket. Blows a gasket. And off the other one, <laughs> you never know. But we just want to get on here, family, and say, you know, it's our, it's our 13 year anniversary today. I love you. I love you so much. 13 years. 13 and 26 more to come 39 i mean who knows it's all you know our our life what god has in plan in store for us and when he wants to call us home but we're here happy anniversary to us happy anniversary to thank, us thank you all for rocking with us from previous and now yeah and in the future yeah definitely we're gonna be here rocking this thing to the woods fall off man i so, hope so so Ooh, my walls will probably fall off sooner than later though. <laughs> <sighs> ah. Yeah, we got again some new additions to the family, so you guys seen them running around probably here. Better not have. Oh well, they're in there, but we'll talk about that and I got a bunch of clips about them just going mad crazy and having a good time. But because I, I just ate, but I didn't, didn't, eat, didn't eat half of it because it wasn't cooked right. Yeah, not only that, but I think we just really wanted the hibachi and nothing yeah, would yeah. have been good after that. Hibachi. Because we were both like, <laughs> I know. Went to the place, 4 o'clock. It was what, 2.55? Yeah, I'm like, 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 I can't wait no hour, man. I want it, I want it. But just think, we've been there right now. Yeah, but still. But still, nah. But we love y'all, man. Stay tuned. We got, uh, I have a few more videos from Vegas to come. They're just pictures and small clips of things we didn't do on camera. So we got those coming. Uh, I got some stuff in addition to the house coming. We went to a concert. I'm gonna try to play that video because it's, it's not made the music, but the actors, the, 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 the stars out there talking and having a good time. I can't play the music though because that's the videos that come for you wins, man. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy. Again, we thank you for all the love and support we have seen to receive. And with that being said, Miss Don't Jean, forget to subscribe. Notifications out. Like. Make some comments. Share. <laughs> some people. Share. Some people. With everyone. Some more people. Share. 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 Like I say. Can that sound like that? Share. 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 <laughs> you good. <laughs> you gotta listen. It'll be gone once the work is all done. You should be back in action. Just don't want that. We love y'all, man. Keep rocking with us, man. Ooh, square fingers.